This is so clever. This is like chat GPT 4.5. They may just call it code interpreter, but believe me, this is so much more and takes chat GPT to a whole new level. Let's check it out. So as I said, chat GPT have released code interpreter, but it is much more than the name suggests. There is so many more things you can do with code interpreter, but it's a bit misleading. That's why I think this is like GPT 4.5 because yes, you can analyze data. Yes, you can analyze code, but you can change and manipulate photographs and get them created in different formats. You can create QR codes. You can edit videos and loads and loads of other stuff. And we're going to just look at, we're just going to scratch the surface of some of the really cool things that you can do with the code interpreter uh, element to chat GPT-4. Now let's uh, kick things off. How do you get it? You need to have chat GPT plus. So if you come down to your account in the corner here, uh, my plan, you can see there I'm chat GPT plus. So you need to be a paid member. And then if you go to settings, down here, you can see, come to beta features here, down here, code interpreter, try a version of chat GPT that knows how to write and execute Python code. This is the cool thing. You ask it a query, it basically writes a program, a mini program to help you sort out what you want to do. And you'll see it in action. It's really, really cool. You can upload files, you can help with data analysis, image conversions, editing a code file, all of that. Files will not persist beyond a single session, or well, that's good to know. When you come to use GPT-4, make sure you click the code interpreter thing. If I click it here, then you'll see down here, you've got a little plus message. Okay, so let's start off with some basic data analysis, yeah? Very straightforward. What I've done is I've downloaded my YouTube analytics, okay, for one of my channels, and uh, just as a zip file. So we'll load that up. Yeah, YouTube data zip file. Let's just ask it to analyze the data in this file. Then basically it goes away and it starts showing it's working as you can see here. And then it breaks it down. It's saying, okay, there's some CSV files in here, which is right. If I unzip that folder, there'll be three folders in there, which is chart data, totals and table data. Then it goes on further and tells you kind of what the various subheadings or the sort of columns and sections within each file is. You've got here date, content, video title, video publisher time, tries to work out what these might be, and then even suggests here some things that we can explore. But I just want to show you this. If we open here the work process, you'll see here, it's created a little kind of Python code to read the file. Look here, see, import zip file, it writes, its own Python code, but you don't need to know that in order to undertake the task that you've asked it. So for instance, why don't we go here? What are the top 10 videos from last 12 months? Okay, and then it's gonna just give me the last 12 months of videos. Now what's interesting here is because it doesn't know, the data that it has is for the last 28 days. So the views don't actually represent 12 months of views. So this is basically the top 10 performing videos, although published over the last 12 months, but just their performance over the last month. Because the data file that, that it has only has the views for the last uh, 28 days in a particular case. Okay, but you can do much more. Okay, make me a chart to show this. Okay, we're going to ask it just to make a chart. And there we go. There's a little chart. Now, if I save that, it doesn't save it as a picture file. Okay, so we're just going to cancel that. So what you can do is convert this to a JPEG. So you can, you can copy it, you can copy the image in that way, and you could paste it into a, a presentation or something like that. But let's convert this to a JPEG. And then it's going to give me a link. Now here, I'll just download the file. Let's just save it in here, top 10 videos. Save, let's just open that file. And there we go. There is the file as a JPEG chart, lovely. Okay, and I could ask it other questions about the data. What is the rate of publication 
over last year. Now it's even suggesting here, it's suggesting, why don't I do a chart for you? I never asked for the chart, but it's, it's, there we are. It's giving me a kind of a chart over the last year, rate of video publication over the last year. How many videos a week do I publish over last 12 months? So now we ask it specifically to look at kind of on a weekly basis. There we are. 2.47 videos per week over the last 12 months. Again, it's going to get, it's keen. It just wants to, it just wants to keep showing off these charts. An average two to three videos were published per week. Wow. And there we go. That chart, I can do number of videos published. I've been busy, a busy boy over the last few months. You can see I've increased my output on this particular channel. It's not this channel, although I have, obviously, this is a brand new channel. Uh, remember to hit the subscribe button and toggle that notification bell, and then you'll know when I go live with content like this. Uh, this is my other channel this chart represents. But you can see, it's even sort of, I wasn't even asking for these charts, but it's giving them to me. And so I can then ask it to save that or create that as a JPEG or a PNG file or something like that. So let's talk about uh, some photography. Sometimes I download pictures and stuff for use in videos and stuff like that, but they download as a web file. And a web file doesn't always work in my editing suite. So I want to convert it to a PNG. Now there are sites I can go and do that for free and stuff and it takes a while, but now I don't need to do that. I can do that here. So I've got a web file here, Persona 5. You'll see down here, it's a HTML document properties, type of file, a dot web file. So it's a web file, yeah, dot web P file. Okay, but I don't want it as that. So what I want, we'll go okay, there it is. What I want, I want this as a PNG, please. Convert this file to a PNG. Finish work, and there we are. Conversion is complete. You can see the little uh, Python code that it called upon to do this. And there is, I can download my Persona 5 PNG. And then, look, I can open that. And there we go. This basically is a PNG. You can see at the top, it says a PNG file. So it's converted it into a PNG file, but I can do much more. Crop the picture to 1080 by 1080, but don't squash the picture. Technical term, my brain went dead. What I mean is I want to keep the aspect ratio. I want to keep it so that, you know, it's not squishing it. That. Okay, but let's see if that works. Let's have a look at this. PNG cropped, open it up. There we are. It's cropped it. So it's made it. It's taken off the, the two sides. This is the original and that's the crop. It can create QR codes. So in this example here, I wanted to create a QR code, say to subscribe to my channel. And I just put create a QR code for the following link. And then it came up with this QR code, which works. But then of course, I realized I wanted to save it as a PNG. I asked it to make the code make the QR code as a PNG and sure enough, created it for me, I'll show you. And it created this code as a PNG file for me. Feel free to scan it if you're not subscribed and it should take you to the subscribe page of this very channel. So there you go, so you can create QR codes, another really cool use. Create me a simple Pong slash tennis game in Python. So one thing I noticed straight away here is it's able to code much more code than it used to previously. That's a hell of a lot of code. Is it actually finished? Turtle package if already installed. Pip install Python turtle. Okay, I suppose we should see if that works. Okay, so I'm over at openprocessing.org. We're gonna see if this works. I remember I made a mini kind of asteroids invaders type game using this over on open processing.org. If you've not seen that video, definitely check it out. I'll leave a, a link either on the screen somewhere or in the description for it. But we're going to try Pong here. Copy this. I'm going to run it. Cannot import statement outside a module. So what we need probably is where do I put the pip install Python turtle code. 
Okay, so I don't have the programming now to go in and uh, install this, but you can see how basically it can create code for you. I'm sure if I spent more time on it, I could sort that out and uh, find the right place in which I can do it. As I said, I've done it before. What we see? Why don't we see if we can improve code? So this this was the um, the game I made previously, right? So why don't we go uh, select all of this? and then ask it to improve it. Can you improve the following code or suggest additions to enhance the game? It says it's a solid, it's a solid interpretation. Yeah, that's because you made it. Adding enemy bullets. Yes. How about that? So it comes up with loads of really great suggestions on how to kind of polish the game. And then I could ask it to create these things. They're really versatile, the things you can do. You can convert files. You can do data analysis. You can do coding. You can get improvements on coding. You can create QR codes. Loads of really cool things because it's using Python. It's basically writing mini Python programs to undertake the tasks that you ask it and this is why i think just calling it as i said code interpreter undersells what this is so if this is still gpt4 lord knows where we're going to go with gpt5 anyway i hope you found this interesting i hope you found it useful if you did then please hit the likes because i like it youtube likes it and helps people like you find amazing content like this and if you are new here then aragata gazimus please hit that subscribe button toggle that notification bell and that way you'll know when I go live with content like this. And talking of content like this, why don't you check out these videos over here, these ones here. I think you'll enjoy them. Thanks for watching.